Hey guys, Dr. Vukovic here, and today we're gonna go over what to do when you blow your back out and can't get to the chiropractor. So lucky for you, I'm gonna actually a lot of pain today. I actually tweaked my back this morning getting my son up. I slept on the floor in his room. He was having trouble through the night. And so me sleeping on a hard floor, ended up blowing out my back this morning. Still gotta go to work, still gotta deal with patients. So I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do to help alleviate my back pain and get me through the day. The first thing is that we need to get a lot of motion in the back. You're trying to work on the extension. So the first thing we do is something called McKenzie press-ups. So you're gonna lay on the ground, hands by your chest, you drive your hips into the floor, press up, bringing your hips forward, work on the extension of your lower back. Get up, hold five to 10 seconds, come on down, relax. Again, reset. Up, extending, coming back down. Doing anywhere from five to ten of those. Next, you can go to all fours. Hands right equal to your shoulders, and you're gonna let your belly hang. Working on full range of motion of the lumbar spine. Extend and then pressing up. Again, working each segment of the spine, increasing that motion, trying to work any of that impingement off the nerve. Again, really slow and controlled. Going back and forth between cat cows. And back down. Do the press ups. The next thing we want to do is work on some sort of decompression of the back. A couple ways to do that, hanging from a pull-up bar, right here just hanging, and then letting your lower back go, taking that pressure off. And the next thing, you have a resistance band. Tied to a rack or door. So, you're going to step into it, bring it around your hips here, you're going to walk forward, going down to all fours, and then relax the hips, and let the band pull your hips back, we're just decompressing the lumbar spine here, really trying to relax the musculature here, the further out you go, more tension and decompression will feel. If you have an inversion table at home, that's another great option. Again, making sure you don't hang all the way upside down. You refer to one of my previous videos showing you more teeter-totter with the inversion table. Just do a little pumping motion, gently distract, and reload up, rehydrate the disc. And the very last thing is something called the rescue position. This is what you want to do at the end of the day to really reduce all the spasms in the muscle. You're going to lay on the ground. Legs at 90 degrees, right here. Knees right over your hips. And then you're going to stay in this position for 45 minutes to an hour. You throw an ice pack underneath. The biggest thing here is the weight of your hips is going to gently reset the hips and the pelvis. And your, your spine's in a neutral position so those muscles are able to relax. Again, 45 minutes to an hour. And when you come up, make sure you stretch side to side. And then kind of roll to your side to get up. Back in this position. Come up. Again, doing those things will help increase the motion in the spine, take pressure off the nerve, and get you to be able to move and get through the day.